skip it up and that up. As I think I've made abundantly clear on this show, even though some people believe otherwise, I despise racism. I can't stand it. But you know what I despise almost as much is racial apologists who look for racism in places where it doesn't exist. So Usain Bolt is an Olympic athlete who is considered the fastest man in the world, and he proves it time and time again by winning the 100-meter race um, at the Olympics. Recently, he was so far ahead of his competitors that he had time to look at the camera during the 100-meter race and, and smile, and because of that, there have been a lot of memes that have been made about him. And Ellen DeGeneres, the TV show host, she does this kind of stuff all the time, also made a meme, and she posted a Photoshop picture on Twitter, and this is what the picture looks like. She is riding on the back of Usain Bolt and she writes, this is how I'm running errands from now on, hashtag Rio 2016. Now, anyone with common sense of any race would look at that picture and say, oh, okay, that's funny. She's just saying that he's so fast. It's better than taking a car because he could get her places quicker and get her errands done quicker. That, that's it. There, there's no racial connotation to it. But of course, now that everyone has the internet, everyone is a keystroke away from being a social justice warrior and a racial apologist, and everyone had to be offended by this picture that was fucking harmless. Here are some of the things that people said on Twitter. Seriously? What the fuck? Honestly, this is offensive. So riding on his back like a mule, a horse, as some form of property is fun to you? Okay. Now, in this whole debacle that Ellen was having on her Twitter with people replying and being offended, there was a young young black man on there who uh, I'm not going to show anyone's Twitter handles because I don't, you know, privacy, but he said, I think you missed the point of the picture. And the person who was offended replied back, if I ignored U.S. history and current climate of police lynching us, this joke would be hilarious. Now, Ellen DeGeneres finally responded to all of these tweets calling her a racist, and this is what she had to say on Twitter. I am highly aware of the racism that exists in our country. It is the furthest thing from who I am. And I love the fact that she didn't fucking apologize there. She just said, look, I'm not racist. Chill the fuck out. Thank you, Ellen, for not apologizing. So many celebrities who just would have caved and said, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, and she didn't. So hats motherfucking off to her for that. Now, here's some fun facts that Mediaite, I'll have their article below in the description. You can check it out. Here's some things they pointed out. One, Usain Bolt retweeted the photo. Do you think he was offended? I don't think so if he retweeted the goddamn photo. Two, right before tweeting this photo... Ellen DeGeneres tweeted a link to the trailer for the upcoming movie Hidden Figures, which talks about unsung black heroes of NASA. And it, just to show you, there was zero intention of racism, and it was not a racist photo. Right after she tweeted that picture, so it wasn't that she was doing it to show, hey, we're friends, you know, I I'm damage controlling. It was literally right after she tweeted that, that meme of her riding on Bolt's back. She tweeted a link to an old video she and Bolt made together. So it, there was no ill intention with this, and it, it's not a racist photo. So before I give my opinion on this whole thing, uh, Charlemagne the God, who is on The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1, he had a lot to say about this whole Ellen DeGeneres debacle. I'm going to play a short clip here. Take a listen. Donkey of the day for Wednesday, August 17th, goes to all you people who have coined race reachers because you're always reaching for racism that doesn't exist. Ellen got deemed a racist. Nothing about this pic or this caption was racist. Now, if you would have posted the caption, found me a new fast Aaron boy, y'all then we would have had an issue. Don't be the boy or girl who cries wolf when it comes to racism, because you know what happened to the boy who cried wolf. Eventually, nobody cared, and his sheep died. You don't want to be in that category, okay? Let me explain in the most basic of ways for you basic brain people. If you're a person who complains about everything all the time, then you're just a boy or girl who cried wolf. But if you do it on occasion and about the right reasons, then people listen. Now, he said some other stuff in there. I'm sure people are going to bring up that he went to go see a movie about slavery and he didn't want to talk to white people for a couple days. But he was half kidding with that. And he explains why he had that thought process. I know that's going to be brought up. But he understands the Ellen DeGeneres photo wasn't racist and that people look for racism everywhere. And if you do that, it actually hurts your cause because people look at you as just a whiner and complainer who's looking to be offended. And when true racism happens, which is horrible, no one will pay attention to you because you bitched about everything. You made all your change.org petitions all the time. You want anyone who, you, who offends you in the slightest way fired from their job. 
this overly political correct shit needs to stop because it's not making humanity progress forward. It's actually making us step back. And I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm so fucking glad that Charlemagne the God said something. I'm so glad that someone on Twitter who was a black man realized that there was nothing offensive about this picture. People need to calm the hell down because when you do things like this and you get offended by stupid shit, you actually help accelerate racism, not stop it. Grow a fucking brain.